Hello, everybody. Just Jeff Sutherland. We're on the air, so make sure you tell a friend on Just Start Talk and Discovery Park. I'm not going to waste too much time because we have some great guests, the great Hollywood voiceovers, big industry in the Hollywood and television industry. My next guest is a familiar face to millions of television viewers. Millions. Yes, millions. millions. <laughs> and her role in the Bob Newhart show that ran quite a few seasons on CBS. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Well, listen, sounds like you got a winner. How tall is he? Mm -hmm. And how tall without his hat? <laughs> <coughs> Carol, do, do I have any messages? Oh, yes. And also so many other shows and a very popular contestant in a lot of game shows. And I'm talking about yeah. Marsha Wallace. Thank you, Marsha, for coming on. You're welcome, Jeff. Marsha, what do you think of these Hollywood collector oh, shows? It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fun. Get to meet a lot of interesting and wacky people. <laughs> And, uh, you know. Well, you work with a lot of wacky people. Oh, I did. I love wacky. <laughs> that fit right in. I'm wacky myself. <laughs> That's but, not a put down but, by a long shot. But, but you're a funny lady. You're a funny, very funny lady. Well, thank you very much. I really wanted, I came on to, um, I wrote a book called Don't Look Back, We're Not Going That Way. Okay. Which is something my father used to say. Of course, he also used to say, if I don't see you again, the mule is yours. So I like not, those every, not everything he said was deep. But um, so I've got the book and I've got some Edna pictures and, you know, the Newhart show. I've had a, you know, this will this is my 40th year um, as a working actress. So I'm wow. proud. Wow. 40th I'm proud. anniversary. Congratulations. No, I'm amazed. Wait a minute. Yes, I am. I'm still croaking. I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I yeah she is. Sure. Okay. I'm... Yeah. Either that's a Timex watch. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, you look like you're uh, ready to go on another Newhart. You guys should do a oh. reunion. It's the best job in the world, uh, a sitcom, and I've been so lucky. I'm also on The Simpsons for the past 18 years. I'm, uh, I won an Emmy, actually. That I'm show never of. goes away, does it? No, and it's the 18th year, starting, coming up 19th, and if we last another uh, year, Gunsmoke went 20. Gunsmoke went 20. we're going to top Gunsmoke. That show is the longest-running animated, and now it's going to be oh, the longest-running period. Running period. Yeah. period. Mm -hmm. It's now the longest-running sitcom, which wow. it really is. Broke all records there. Yeah, and then it will be the longest-running show. And two years away from Gunsmoke's record. Yeah. Man, that's fantastic. Now, two more different shows you couldn't find. <laughs> hey, Could you? you had steady gigs. That, I have, indeed. I'm very lucky. Now, I'm the happy. New Heart show ran on CBS for how many seasons? Seven. Seven and seasons. then uh, it was on in reruns in the 80s, mm -hmm. and then in the 90s, Nick at Night. So. Mm -hmm. At night, and it was very, very popular in syndication. And now you have The Simpsons, 18 years. I know, 19th year coming up. Are you amazed uh, oh. that that show? I mean, oh. you know, so many oh. other Fox shows. As what Edna the, would say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah. 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 yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Voiceover is big, isn't it? Oh, it is. You don't have to dress up, and Bart Simpson will never be out of the fourth grade. That's true. You know, they, they say the entertainment of radio might be dead, but the entertainment of voiceovers is booming. Yeah, but all the movie stars want to do them now. I don't mean yeah. to be hateful about it, but. <laughs> They want geez, to get on that, that they gravy. They want to get on that gravy train. Sure, you know, big stars too, making know, twenty million dollars a movie. Huge movie and they want stars. to do some voiceovers. They want stuff. to do voiceovers. Yeah. But I love the cast of Simpsons. Uh, that you have very, very talented people, and you had another one of your co-stars from The Simpsons who worked in Rhoda. Is that right? She, oh, Julie Kavner, yeah. yeah. Julie yeah. Kavner plays Marge Simpson. Yeah. She's yeah. done Woody Allen movies. She's fantastic, vast. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. I've worked with great people. Mm -hmm. And now yourself. Well, listen, I'm included in that. Well, that's an honor. Well, I know I got the box set of Match Game with the late uh, Gene Rayburn, and uh, they're fantastic to look at. Uh, and you were part of that panel. And it looked like they had a lot of fun on that panel. Oh, we had a great time. It was like a party. Yeah. Talk about a party. Get paid for. <laughs> Betty White, Richard and, Dawson. you know, it's fallen out of favor, but people were known to take a drink now and again. I heard that. Uh, during lunch break. So <laughs> let's say the shows after lunch were a lot looser. That's what I've heard. Especially with Brett and Charles. Brett Summers and Charles Joseph Nelson Riley. Huh? Brett is my best friend and my son's godmother, so <laughs> I know of what I speak. Oh, oh boy. And you had some delightful people on there just coming through and you had your mainstays. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was famous for, um, you know, it. You, you, you were supposed to come up with euphemisms for like racy words. And I knew, I, I had a great sense of what was appropriate. But one day the, the, um, the answer was clearly uh, the male body part. And I thought, I know, I'll go scientific. So I'm going to say genitalia. And I was so proud of myself. So I whipped up my card genitalia. They crossed out the card. They crossed out my mouth. I noticed they that. They crossed out my face. They, bells and whistles went on. <laughs> the producer came up to me and went, 
you get one. <laughs> Imagine now, please. Oh, that, oh, please. People would not off that so. And if you're if you're around the blockbuster or Hollywood video or whatever, uh, you get that that first season, uh, the best of match game, and you'll see that clip that Marsha is That's talking right. about, and it's very very funny. It is very funny. Yeah, it's funny about censors today. You know, I mean, uh, they yeah. let things like that slide. Oh, and please, that would be nothing, nothing today. Nothing. Uh, yeah, they got all up upset with you. I have no they idea. Got very upset with me. <laughs> And Don't Dawson know. can and Charles Nelson Rudd can slide him in there and uh, no know. problem. Yeah. Well, I showed it to, to Richard Dawson and I said, "Is this good?" And he went, Pfft. and then he said, "Yeah, go ahead, do that." <laughs> that sounded like Dawson. Who's your now? I guess Brett Summers was your best friend oh, on yeah. there. Uh, who else did you get along real good on the show? I got along with Charles and Jean and Brett. Okay. Great. Now on the Newhart show, uh, now we had Bob Newhart and uh, beautiful Susan Plachette, Bill Daly, and all the other cast. Uh, who did you get along real good with that show? We all got along great. I know it, it sounds. It looks like it on. on I know tape. it sounds, you know, sure, sure, but we did. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, I have been so lucky. I suppose I've had small jobs where <laughs> it wasn't magic between us, but basically, I have worked with such great people. Yeah, before How lucky yeah, am I? before Newhart, you made your rounds. You oh, made your yeah, rounds. Oh yeah, yeah. I was. I worked in New York yeah. and everything, and I've just been really, really lucky. Well, uh, go out and do book events for yeah. my book. Don't look back. We're not going that way. I got, yeah, that's great. Now, now that book is available. Website. Okay. MarshaWallace.com, words I never thought I'd say. MarshaWallace.com. And uh, Amazon and everything, and mm -hmm. the occasional Barnes & Noble. So, and then I'd love to do another sitcom, on. Would you really? Oh, please. Best job in the world for an actor. Well, I tell you what, we love you in The Simpsons, but we'd also like to see your appearance because you're a very funny gal and very thank talented you. lady, and I want to thank you for taking your time to be on our show. You're very welcome. Marsha Wallace, everybody. God bless you, Marsha. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right.